E aí galera do NGP, eu sou Caio Vicentini aqui, mais uma entrevista agora com o Matthew Ellison sobre o DC Super Villains. É, a gente vai fazer um pouco diferente aqui agora, é, ele vai jogar essa porção aqui da demo que a gente tem disponível aqui na feira e a gente vai discutir um pouco sobre o jogo, sobre a demo em si e tudo mais, ok? É, Matthew, hello, how are you? Uh, very well, thank you. All right. So, um, my first question is, why to do? Why do uh, Lego focus on the DC super villains? So, we haven't done villains at the center of a story before. Uh, so that is something that's new for us. It's very exciting for us to be able to do that. Uh, DC have amazing villains uh, like the Joker, Lex Luthor, Harley Quinn and so, so many more. We wanted to be able to make a story where these characters are right at the front of it. They're really, really important to the story. Uh, and the fun thing about villains is they we still have them trying to work together, but they're not as good at it as the heroes. They still have their own agendas. They, they make mistakes, um, and they're always getting into mischief. So we have a lot of fun with the villains, and just it brings a lot of different ways to... Uh, have lots of fun moments in the game. All right. Um, one of the things I really like about uh, the LEGO superhero games is that you guys bring a lot of underground characters. For example, I play a lot of the LEGO Avengers and uh, you guys brought some very unknown characters like Moon Knight and uh, Captain Universe. Uh, is there any character here that you guys wanted to bring but you couldn't? Any super villains that you couldn't bring? I don't think there are many that we couldn't. Uh, we got pretty much everyone we wanted to. Uh, we worked very closely with DC when working with the characters that we wanted to put into the game. Uh, and yeah, we got so many villains. There's way over 100 characters in this game. Uh, I think there's, I think there's over 150 villains. So we got so many, and some of them are really obscure. Um, so we got the ones that everyone knows, but then there's ones that are less less known, like uh, the ventriloquist, for example, uh, who's sort of one of my personal favorites in the game. He's really, really fun. The animation team did an amazing job uh, making some of these characters really, really funny. Uh, so how how difficult it was to bring so many different villains with so many different backgrounds, so many powers. For example, uh, you, you have to bring like uh, Lex Luthor, but you also have to bring Reverse Flash. Uh, how difficult it is to bring so many different characters, so many different powers in just one game? Uh, I think. We've, it's something we've done, we've got experience of doing it before, um, and we always want to make sure that the characters feel really, really cool, and like people who are fans of those characters expect the characters to play. So uh, we have a large number of mechanics in the game that allow us to... Uh, give the characters these abilities so characters like Lex Luthor have missiles which can destroy silver Lego uh, some characters have lasers or fire that can destroy gold Lego uh, and lots of different abilities can, or di lots of different characters have similar abilities that can work in a particular way in the game uh, so it allows us to have a lot of variety a lot of different characters uh, but keep it so that people know which characters have what Right, very good. Uh, we we're seeing here in the demo that you can create your own character, right? Uh, not every LEGO game you can do that. Why Why uh, the decision to allow the, the player to create your own character in this particular case? Yeah, so this is the new big thing for this game. Being able to... Basically, the first thing you do is create this character. And this villain goes into the story and is a really important part of the story. As you play through, they get more and more powerful powerful unlocking new abilities uh, so it's really really cool that we've been able to do that in this game and like you say this is the first time we've done that you've always been able to create characters in the game but they've never been in the story so being able to create something that then appears in the cutscenes and uh, all the characters are reacting to this character and you play as this character it feels very new and different um, and people are more invested when they are playing with the character they've made right uh, in this custom character 
we see uh, I already played the demo before and we see that you have uh, super speed and you have some particular attacks what other abilities can uh, can this custom character uh, acquire so as you play through the story they'll unlock uh, a lot of abilities the first one you unlock is a heat beam um, which allows you to destroy gold Lego uh, they gain the ability to uh, grow shrink in size uh, loads of different things as you play through they get a lot of really powerful abilities and become sort of one of the strongest characters in the DC universe which is really exciting um, so yes there are loads of different abilities at any point you can go back and customize your character again so you can make uh, tweaks to them uh, as you are playing through the story all right very good uh, we were talking about a lot of uh, DC super villains but uh, we will see some DC superheroes like Batman super Superman Flash? Yeah, so uh, at the start of the uh, story, uh, they get taken, the Justice League get taken out of the picture, uh, and they're replaced by the Justice uh, Syndicate, which is like the crime syndicate. Uh, they're, st they're standing in, in their place. Uh, but later on in the story, they do come back into it. And uh, like uh, in previous uh, Batman titles, the Joke was an unlockable character in those games, and it's similar in this. You're playing as the villains most of the time, but you can unlock the, some of the hero characters to play as them as well. All right, you you just mentioned uh, the Crime Syndicate and uh, the Justice League. Is there any other uh, comic story in particular that maybe was an inspiration to the story of the Lego of this Lego game? Yeah, the, so the story is a new and original story, but it definitely takes inspiration from the Forever Evil comics. Um, and yeah, it, it's not a direct retelling of those, but it definitely takes inspiration from them. All right. So we see here that uh, you usually do what you uh, you do in a Lego game. You have to fight the the, the bad guys or the good guys in this uh, case, yeah, the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you have to break stuff and then you have to rebuild to do something to progress through the level. Uh, mechanically speaking, speaking, uh, is there any new thing to, uh, that this game brings to the table uh, regards of uh, the Lego game's mechanics? Yeah, so uh, some of the characters have had a sort of an upgrade from previous uh, games, like characters like Poison Ivy. She's got a new way to uh, interact with plants and grow plants. There's also uh, been improvements to the combat system. So uh, in a minute, what I'll be able to do is uh, you can grapple enemies and then you can do uh, different attacks on them and each character has different attacks so it gives a real variety to the combat and the way in which you're defeating the enemies uh, in the game all right very good well, I can show you some of those things here so you've got all of these different moves so I can come through and each character has different ones so uh, there's a lot of variety here with what you can do Yes, and for example, Lex Luthor, he floats, he has uh, his uh, laser guns, and then uh, after this part, you, you can play as Solomon Grundy? Yeah, so yes. I'm, actually, after I go through these doors, that's the next part of this level. Uh, and as you play through the game, there are loads of different characters that you encounter in the story. So this bit here is Solomon Grundy and Cheetah. In the uh, next part of the level after this, it's Joker and Harley Quinn. In the next level, you've got uh, Riddler and Scarecrow. In the level after that, you've got Reverse Flash and Malcolm Merlin. So there's all of these different characters uh, all the way through the story that uh, you get to play as. So there's a lot of variety there. Right. Uh, which of the DC villains here in the game is your personal favorite? Uh, I'm a fan of Harley Quinn. I think uh, she's really, really cool. And also, we've uh, given her roller skates in this game, which... Uh, means that when you're playing as her, just the way she moves is totally different to everyone else, and it's really, really fun. Uh, and yeah, I, I like her. I think she's really, really fun. Então, gente, é, a gente vai terminar aqui, ainda conversar um pouco para terminar de ver o final da demo, mas esse é um pouquinho da, da conversa que eu tive aqui com o Matthew sobre o DC Super Villains. É, acompanha aqui a gente a nossa cobertura no, no NGP, tanto no nosso site como no, como no nosso canal do YouTube, tá bom? É, tem muitas outras coisas, muitas novidades ainda. É, e é isso aí, gente. Muito obrigado. Eu sou o Caio Vicentini. 
Thank you very much, Matthew, for your time. All right. Uh, thank you very much. And yeah, the game comes out on the 16th of October, uh, and it's also on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. All right. Very good. Valeu, gente. Tchau, tchau.